hi guys welcome back to my channel why am i doing this <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel it is sade here so in today's video i am going to be showing you slash teaching you how to make your own flower bed garden bed it's so easy i cannot believe how many people messaged me on instagram and said i've been quoted so and so to make garden beds and me and my mum did it at the weekend pretty much for the price of nothing apart from the the plants of course it's so so simple so anyway hold tight i'm going to be showing you how you make your own flower bed it's really easy and it's actually a lot of fun it is quite hard work so make sure you've got a couple of days to do it and to recover because i was definitely physically broken for a little while but aside from that it is totally worth it and it has transformed the sides of the garden so anyway i'm going to stop rambling please make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you never miss any content it helps me out so much and please like this video if you do like it i'll remind you at the end as well but please do like it <laughs> and before you get into it i just want to remind you that the pagola diy is coming up after this video i think if i can keep to my schedule but yeah that is going to be a big diy do not miss that video make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss that video anyway i'll stop talking now enjoy the video guys Here's a little before of what the space looked like. So the grass that is next to the brick wall is dying. It just didn't get enough sunlight and it just looked really terrible to be honest. So this was the space we were gonna be recreating. My mum helped so much with this project. She was the brains behind the whole thing. So she set out by placing the plants where we thought we would like to put them. So that's the first thing. We were mostly happy with how those were turning out, however, they needed a little bit more colour, so we headed over to B&M to pick up just a few more colourful plants. We didn't want to overcrowd the flower beds, so we literally picked up like, I think, five or six plants. Can't remember the name of them, but whichever ones looked pretty, I just took them. I think these are geraniums, and we ended up picking up this beautiful big, like, fake lavender thing, some roses, as you can see, and this is just some weed control and some metal stakes to drive the weed control into the ground. I'll explain to you what this does later on. little plant party going on. I was so excited for this. So we also went to Asda and picked up some multi-purpose compost. This just helps to encourage the plants to grow, gives them a much healthier soil to grow in, but actually our soil is really healthy. So my mum said, but I'll show you that later on. Okay, this is some rope. This is gonna be used to mark out the borders where we are gonna dig everything. And we literally just stuck those into the ground using like spare tools, like screwdrivers and stuff. It just helped us to mark out and dig up nicely and neatly. So this is quite self-explanatory, but you can see Mumsy there just using quite a sharp bladed spade to dig into the ground. You want to create smaller sections that you can dig up the turf from easily. You don't want to take off too much of the turf as well. Try to keep it to the top level. You don't want to be digging out all of the mud, but you practically want to do this around the whole area, making sure you get off as much as possible. And yeah, then you'll be left with the area which you can create your garden beds in. Gardening is actually so much fun, but I'm using my Gardena gloves here just to protect my hands. I've got correct footwear on and I was staying hydrated and on top of my sunscreen. So please make sure that you guys do that as well, especially if it's really, really hot. Anyway, here we are churning over all of the mud. So we've taken off the top layer of the grass and we're churning over that mud because it's gonna give us a nice loose compost so that we can fit our flowers in the bed nicely. And as I said before, mum said this was really nice soil. It was really rich and dark. If your soil isn't as nice, nice as this and it's a little bit more clay like you might want to double up on the compost on top. 
this angle that you're about to see in three, two, one is me just showing you how you need to create a bit of a level off. So where the mud touches the grass, you want it to move upwards and back towards the wall. It'll just stop any of your gravel or your bark chips going on to the grass if you don't have an actual physical border between them. So here we're going in with the compost on top. Again, just to nutrients, nutrients, fertilize and give nutrients to the plants. So we used about, I think, three bags worth um, across the whole area and it was quite cheap. It's three for 10 pounds, so go wild with it. This is weed control fabric, which I was showing you in B&M earlier. So this stuff is really useful for stopping weeds penetrating and getting through and kind of ruining the look of your flower beds. So we doubled up here, you absolutely don't have to, but this is gonna mean that absolutely nothing gets through. And we're using those metal pegs that I showed you earlier, just to pin it all down. Make sure you're doing it nice and tight. The tighter you do it, the more seamless it'll look. It's a very breathable fabric, so the water will get through and get down as well as your plant foods, but the weeds won't actually get through and kind of, as I said, ruin the look of your plant bed. So we just put that all around, making sure we were using as many pegs as we needed. Don't skimp out on them because it will all start to unravel. And we used one whole roll for this area, which is probably about six or seven meters long. Once you've got your weed membrane down and you're happy with how everything looks, go back in with your plants, place them where you want to put them and then we can start potting them. Quick step by step on how to plant a bedding plant. So mum's using some special cutters here but you can use scissors just to open up the space in the weed membrane. Then you want to start to take out some of the soil just so that you've got enough room to plant the plant. Plant the plant, plant the plant. <laughs> drown that with water they need water these plants are dying in these little plant pots especially if you're getting them from places like B&M they don't get looked after very well so make sure you're putting loads and loads and loads of water down in there so that they can get the water that they need and then plant them and um, I'll show you doing this a couple of times but yeah it's actually as simple as that go back over with the soil make sure you're pushing it all firmly down into the ground standing it up and positioning it in the way that you want it to look when you stand back from it and then if you have to you Use your foot very gently don't break the roots and don't break the plant itself just to push down on it the plant that you see to the left in the pot when you take it out of there you're going to want to break the sides of the roots like crumble it a bit so that the roots have room to breathe and they can grow again before you plant it And if you're looking to do something like this yourself, I'll be linking all of the garden tools down in the description box so that you can go and shop them yourselves. We ended up planting that whole other side over the night, so I didn't record much of it. So we decided the next day though, we loved the look of it and the other side of the garden looked a bit lonely. So not gonna show you every single step, but we ended up mimicking it in a kidney shape sort of design on the other side and we loved it. If you can see the white slat of wood on the base on the right hand side of the fence there, we had to put that in because our neighbors had some stones, decorative stones, and we didn't want to ruin those for the neighbors. So we just used that as a bit of a border just to keep them in place.
making sure that you've watered your plants enough go in with some sort of feed we started out with this pour and feed but it's probably best for hanging baskets that wasn't very much in it so i went out and bought another all-purpose soluble plant food which makes up about 80 liters i think and i just gave each of the plants some food and in on all honesty it's been like three weeks now and they've like doubled in size it's really really good stuff final stage we are just adding some decorative stones we were going to go in with some bark that we got from asda it was really reasonably priced but a lot of people on my instagram said don't use bark because cats use it as their litter trays and it is a nightmare so we decided to just invest in some of the plum slate decorative stoning from travis perkins i'll leave a link down below for you guys it looks really amazing and it lasts a lot longer apparently cats sometimes use it for their litter trays as well but really not as much and i just loved how it looked so there we go pretty much finished again just demonstrating to you a class student that you need to be watering your plants so I'm just giving them a nice little drink using the Gardena hose which is amazing by the way I didn't know that I needed this hose until I got it but making sure you keep on top of your plants water will really really help them Shall we remind ourselves of what this space looked like before? So here is the before, it's looking a little bit worse for wear, a little bit dead, and let's move into how the whole thing looks. I have found myself out here in the garden looking after these plants day in day out making sure they are fed and watered and deadheaded and pruned and are just looking spectacular. That is it for this video guys if you like this please give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more content I've got the pergola build coming out next for you and I am so excited that is like the biggest DIY project to date and I can't wait to share with you guys how we did it. Anyway thanks for watching so much guys I'll see you in the next one bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.